What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites. I've got some pretty cool and very, very recent research to share with you all today. So strap yourselves in, it's science time. It also might only end up being a short one today. I'm just about getting back into the swing of things now with the channel. So please do bear with me if it is a slightly shorter one. Now we all know whale sharks, at least I'd like to think anyone who likes sharks and watches this channel knows about whale sharks. Look at me setting up a little plug there. If for whatever reason you have never heard of a whale shark somehow, now, make sure you click on this link here where you're going to be able to watch a creature feature we did right here on Shark Bites all about whale sharks. Anyway, they're big, they're spotty, and weirdly scientists are still learning crazy things about whale sharks every single year that we didn't know before. It's a pretty strange concept when you think about it. This is the biggest fish in the sea and somehow we still have so many questions about it. Like where does it give birth? Where does it mate? What do they do when they're spending time at depth? We literally have no clue. But today I've got a super cool research paper and this video here to show you of a whale shark that looks like it's chowing down on a big fat pile of sand. What are you doing, you little weirdo? <laughs> so whale sharks are pretty commonly referred to as filter feeding sharks. This means they usually swim along the surface of the water, filtering through that water to try and get plankton and small fishes. Or occasionally they'll actively feed by gulping. And you might have seen this in videos before where there's whale sharks glugging on fishermen's nets. When they're doing this, they're filtering through gallons and gallons of seawater, trying to get to and swallow the good stuff plankton. So please don't ever worry about getting swallowed by a whale shark. Their throats are absolutely tiny. Their throat is about the size of this coin here. So if you're a human, you're absolutely fine. If you're a plankton or a tiny fish, you're screwed. So normally these sharks are feeding at the surface. At least that's where we've mostly seen them feeding before. But pretty recently, some scientists released a paper with the video that you've just seen showing a whale shark potentially feeding at the bottom. It was captured by some citizen scientists in La Paz, Mexico. Again, citizen scientists. You guys out there doing this, you're great. So I'm gonna show you this weird little bit of footage that we've got of a whale shark doing this and talk you through it. So initially we can see the shark here just swimming along in relatively shallow water. It looks like it's probably about five or six meters deep here and from what I've read in the paper this shark is also around five meters long. The visibility isn't great but we can see the shark swimming along before it starts to slow down and then it arches those pectoral fins which is helping it slow down even more. It then arches its back almost ending up at a 90 degree angle towards the bottom before its head touches the sand and it begins that repeated sucking motion as it stirs up all that substrate on the bottom. It levels out a bit before it starts spewing out some of that excess sand because it isn't really fussed about swallowing sand. That's no good for anyone, unless it's some kind of sand-eating benthic nightmare worm. Eef. Anyway, the shark carries on swimming for a little bit before starting to perform the same suction behavior again, although this time it's then noticed the person alongside it in the water and stops and swims off. So what's going on here? Well, the shark could just simply be feeding on its normal prey species, zooplankton, which has aggregated closer towards the seafloor. And in doing so, it could have just accidentally engulfed a load of sand in the process. Zooplankton are occasionally known to be densely packed towards the seafloor or towards the bottom of the water column. But the scientists who wrote the paper, as well as me to be fair, don't think that's the case. The movements and suction feeding that this particular shark is performing is way too purposeful for this to be an accident and happened twice over a really short space of time. And the more likely hypothesis here is that this whale shark is actively feeding on something that is living in that sand. And this would make whale sharks not just surface feeders, but also bottom feeders as well. But the really strange thing here is that this behavior has never been seen before or at least caught on film. Whale sharks are probably one of the most well-known species when it comes to shark ecotourism. So many people head to various destinations all around the world to swim with these animals. So people have pretty much consistently got their eyes on them all the time. And in a lot of these locations where people go and swim with whale sharks, the water is about as shallow as what we're seeing here in this video. So it's a bit strange that no one has ever seen this behavior from whale sharks in different parts of the world, or also here in La Paz, Mexico, where this video was filmed. Well, I'll tell you a little bit more about why that might be the case a bit later on in the video. It has been speculated before by other teams of scientists that whale sharks occasionally do feed on benthic prey. Previous studies have looked at the diet composition of whale sharks using fatty acid and stable isotope analysis, they've tentatively suggested that whale sharks on occasion feed on prey species that are living in and around the sand. And there's even studies that suggest benthic prey make up a pretty large proportion of a whale shark's diet. We don't know much about the sensory systems of whale sharks, but it's pretty likely they're either using their chemosensory abilities or their electroreceptors with those ampullae of Lorenzini on the snout to detect these dense patches of benthic prey. Unfortunately, the scientists who wrote the paper 
didn't get the chance to collect some samples from the sand where that whale shark was feeding. So they can't know for sure exactly what species this particular shark was feeding on. But they've hypothesized that the shark was feeding on benthic amphipods. These weird looking things are members of the crustacean group of animals and are pretty closely related to isopods. They spend most of their time mooching about in the substrate and are a pretty important prey species for a whole host of different animals. So the scientists don't know this for sure because they obviously couldn't take samples from that sand where the shark was feeding, but they think it's a good bet. Now, in regards to why this behavior has never been seen or caught on film before, there's a few different lines of thought. The first is simply that this behavior might normally be being performed in much deeper water than what we saw in this video. Ecotourism activities with whale sharks are almost exclusively done either at the surface of the water out at sea or in shallower waters at inshore aggregation sites. So it might just be that we've never seen it before because we don't usually get to see these sharks in deeper water towards the bottom. And based on various biologging studies, we know that these sharks do spend a lot of their time at depth. Another hypothesis is that whale sharks might occasionally shift their diet depending on prey abundance. So based on the example that we've seen here, zooplankton densities might have been really scarce in that area, but benthic amphipod densities could have been really abundant. Basically, the whale shark has decided, right, I'm gonna switch it up and feed on a different prey species. It's like you and me, if there's two restaurants where you live and one of them's just advertised a two for one deal and the other one's just posted on Facebook that they've run out of chickpeas, then you're gonna choose the one that's got the two for one deal, right? Did I just say chickpeas? <laughs> what a random food item to choose. <laughs> But you get my point, whale sharks will shift their diet depending on whatever is favorable at the time. If you wanna know what the scientific term for that is, by the way, it's called facultative foraging shifts because it's always cool to impress your friends with a fun new science term. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed that little science factoid, by the way, please do give this video a like because, well, I don't really have a reason for you right now, but I'd still appreciate any likes that you can give. <laughs> I do wanna bring this all back around again though to citizen science. I've talked to you all plenty of times before about citizen science and just how cool it is. Because it means that even if you're not a trained scientist, you can still collect data that helps scientists go on to write papers. And that's exactly what's happened here in this example. That bit of footage was captured by a citizen scientist who was out with an ecotourism operator in La Paz. And then they've passed that footage on to scientists working on whale sharks in that area and those scientists have concluded that, yeah, there is something really interesting going on here. So it means guys that if you're ever out swimming with sharks, make sure you take loads of pictures and loads of videos because you might actually end up catching something that scientists have never seen before. But it's also not just when you're out swimming with sharks, you can literally see interesting things going on with sharks in videos all the time. You might stumble across a random video of a shark in the depths of YouTube and think it's doing something a bit weird. Well, share it with a scientist and they might end up agreeing with you. You really do never know what you're gonna find out there. If you're wanting to read this paper because it definitely has a little bit of extra info that I've not included in today's episode, then I'll make sure to post it in the description below for you. But wait, before you all inevitably click away because you think it's the end of the video, you're gonna wanna stick around for a second. If you enjoyed this video about the big spotty dweeb that is the whale shark, then you're definitely gonna wanna click this video right here and learn all about how some sharks can make sound. And in this video, you'll hear a clip of a whale shark that actually sounds like it's roaring. Don't believe me? Click here.